hello in this figure we have a circle and from a point outside the circle we have two tangents to this circle that form a 40 degree angle the distance a b is 15 units the white region is a segment of this circle so a segment is a figure that is formed by a chord and its corresponding arc we need to find the area of this segment so let's start with a few basic principles in the first one if from a point outside of a circle we have two tangent lines then the line segment ap equals the line segment bp in our figure if ab is 15 units then cb is also 15 units next if point o is the center of the circle then po bisects the angle a p b so the angle a p o is equal to the angle b p o in our figure if we connect point b with the center of the circle then we will form two 20 degree angles so here we have them and next we need to know that in a circle the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency so in our figure we will connect the center with each point of tangency and we will form two right angles and now in the right triangle aob we can use trigonometric functions to find the radius ao in this triangle we know the angle of 20 degrees and the adjacent side of 15 units then to find the opposite side we will use the tangent function we will write that tangent of 20 degrees equals the opposite side ao divided by the adjacent side of 15 units then ao which is the radius equals 15 times tangent of 20 degrees then ao is approximately 5.46 units so the radius is approximately 5.46 units now once we have the radius let's see how we can find the area of this segment first we will need to find the area of this sector then we will find the area of the triangle AOC then if we subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the sector we will get the area of the segment the area of a sector with an angle theta and the radius r is given by the following formula a equals theta over 360 degrees multiplied by pi r squared in our figure angle theta measures 140 degrees and this is because in the right triangle AOB if angle B measures 20 degrees then this angle will measure 70 degrees and 70 plus another 70 makes 140 degrees so then the area of the sector equals 140 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied by pi times 5.46 squared then a will be approximately 36.42 square units now to find the area of the triangle aoc first we need to find the base and the height let this point be point d and now to find the height OD, we will use the triangle OAD. I have this triangle here to the right, and in this right triangle, one acute angle is 70 degrees, and the hypotenuse is 5.46. The side OD is the adjacent side for this angle, so to find this side, we will use the cosine function. We will write that cosine of 70 degrees equals the adjacent side OD divided by the hypotenuse 5.46 then OD equals 5.46 multiplied by cosine 
of 70 degrees. Then OD is approximately 1.87. Next, we will also use this triangle to find the side AD. And for this, we need the sine function. We will write that sine of 70 degrees equals the opposite side AD divided by the hypotenuse 5.46. Then AD equals 5.46 multiplied by sine of 70 degrees. Then AD will be approximately 5.13 units. Now let's find the area of the triangle AOC. The formula is one half of the base AC multiplied by the height OD. Half of the base is 5.13 and the height is 1.87. Then the area equals 5.13 multiplied by 1.87. This is approximately 9.59 square units. Now, once we have the area of the sector and the area of the triangle, let's find the area of the segment. The area of the segment equals the area of the sector minus the area of the triangle. So, we will take 36.42 and we will subtract 9.59. This equals 26. 83 square units. So we found the area of the segment and it's 26.83 square units. Thank you for watching the whole video. Please subscribe, give me a like, leave a comment and come back for more math.